Good evening and welcome for this exclusive interview about the two turtles in which we was rescued by the Kuwait diving team at Sharif Port. Our guest tonight, we have Mr. Abdullah Fadl. He is the head of the computer section at the Kuwait diving team. And also we have Mrs. Philomena Abdelbari. She is an American writer from Pennsylvania who had lived in Kuwait for so many years. I would like to welcome both of you at here at KTV2 Studios. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Abdullah, I would like to start with you about the Kuwait uh, diving team. How was established? What's the background of this team? We are all volunteers to help the marine environment. Uh, of course, uh, the team uh, was established or formed in 1991 after the liberation of Kuwait. It wa uh, the main concern was to uh, clean the debris left by the Iraqi uh, army. Uh, that's why we are all uh, volunteers uh, for the marine environment also. Uh, also. Uh, uh, anybody can join the club. To be uh, an expert in diving, have you previous experience with this? No. To join your team? No, you don't have to be. Uh, when you join the team, we can uh, train you to be a scuba diver. Then we can train you uh, for salvaging operation and underwater work. It's fun. It's, we are all uh, young Kuwaitis who have fun and uh, we are uh, taking, uh, uh, we are uh, taking, uh, uh, have, having fun, you know, uh, just uh, uh, serving Kuwait. It's, uh, we make it all, uh, we are all enjoying the, uh, the, the whole thing. Well, how long did it take you to prepare, I mean, a normal person who has no experience to become an expert in diving team? Well, I don't know about becoming an expert, but uh, for scuba diving, to dive, uh, the, the course would take uh, maybe less than two weeks. But to, to be a, a member of the Kuwait diving team, uh, you, have to, you have to participate in more than one project. And you have experience uh, doing uh, very hard work underwater. Very hard because you cannot see anything. Uh, the visibility is, uh, is uh, not good. And uh, the water could be very cold, you know. And, uh, you know, the weather is, might be not very good. And it's hard. It's hard work. It's not easy. But uh, many people love to be in the diving team. And they, they are very proud to be there. Now, let's talk about the turtles that the Kuwaiti diving team rescued. Mm -hmm. What was the problem with those turtles? Well, they were trapped in uh, an intake pool in Shaiba uh, port. Uh, we, ha we have received a call from the uh, Environment Protection Council telling us that they, uh, two, t two turtles were uh, found there and they cannot uh, get out of the pool. So they asked if we could help. And uh, we, we said, sure, but we have to see first if we can do it. And uh, we tried uh, very hard uh, to do it and uh, thank God uh, we managed to do the job uh, in 100% uh, success. How long did it take you to rescue those turtles? Well, we had to prepare for uh, 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 more than one day to prepare uh, the, the, the equipment we needed. Uh, we needed the special net so we don't harm the uh, turtles. Uh, also, we needed a crane, we needed a small boat, uh, we needed ro special ropes. Uh, so after uh, it, the, the operation took us uh, about uh, 12 hours from the morning till uh, uh, the evening, and it was, uh, it was very hard. Yes. Did you use any aid, I mean, like the computer internet, for instance? Of course, we needed information about uh, how to rescue uh, turtles. We have not uh, rescued turtles before, I tell you. So uh, uh, we, we searched the internet, since we have an internet cent center in the team. We searched the internet, so we looked for all the uh, organizations around the world that are concerned about uh, saving turtles. We emailed them to the, uh, the computer, we emailed them, we asked for help. And within minutes, the, 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 uh, the responses were, were pouring in to the team, telling us uh, how to do it and uh, all the steps needed and supporting us. Many of them were thanking us for, for doing this and they could not believe that, they, you know, they were Kuwaitis or uh, they, they are uh, young people uh, in these parts of the, the world who really cared about the animals. Of course, uh, one thing uh, we have to mention that, uh, of course, being kind to animals is also a part of our religion, Islam. As you know, Muhammad always encourages Muslims to, uh, to be kind to animals. So oh, it's, it, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's both ways. We want to save the marine environment. Also, we want to follow our religion. So it, it matches very good. With those steps you mentioned that being sent by the internet, can you tell us a summary, a concise way about those steps that you followed to rescue those uh, turtles? Yes, they told us uh, about the turtles and uh, also if we want to transport them, from the pool to the open water, yes. it was distance about like uh, seven seven kilometers. Uh, we have to use special foaming for them so they don't get hurt. We, we have to, to to make them comfortable in the truck if you want to take them from the pool to the open uh, water. 
uh, also we have to keep them wet so they don't get dehydrated you know if they get uh, they, they have to be wet all the time uh, and uh, many other things they, they told us to take care not to uh, to get bitten by uh, because the, their bite is very very strong and uh, uh, and also their flapper, uh, their their uh, flappers are very strong. Uh, they just told us to be aware of things and to you know, it, it was very helpful. All the uh, all the email we received was very helpful. And do, do you consider turtles a uh, dangerous species? They are considered to be uh, dangerous species uh, all over the world. Uh, they are very uh, they becoming fewer and fewer, and because uh, for many reasons, uh, uh, one of them is that many countries still eat turtles eat their uh, uh, eat, uh, turtle eggs and um, they make stuff from their shells and some people just kill them for, for fun which is bad and many of them also get caught in the fishing nets when they when they when they when the fish the fishers uh, go uh, they, they catch many many uh, turtles they get trapped so they are getting fewer and fewer why are you saying rescuing those uh, turtles? Uh, was it dangerous for you? I mean, for the team? It, uh, Any problems they confronted yes. the team? The, the pool, uh, there was uh, some uh, danger involved because the pool was not suitable for diving. It has a high level of uh, chlorine, uh, chlorine in it. And uh, uh, also there were turbines that pulling water inside and outside of the pool, which make uh, a very strong current. Uh, also, the, 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 the pool was uh, very deep. And the, uh, the nets, uh, you, you cannot dive somewhere where there are many nets, you know, you, ca you can get uh, uh, tangled. So, so uh, we took care, we had an ambulance ready in case of uh, any emergency. We had uh, all our equipment ready. We had uh, three or four uh, of our uh, international uh, uh, diving instructors with us all the time. They made sure we follow all the safety rules. And uh, thank God we made, it, uh, we made the job uh, uh, complete. So. I mean, now with the team, when they, when they were <coughs> inside the pool, the pool, I think, was by the power station of Shaiba. Yes. What was the pool for? The pool uh, was... Uh, Why it was made for? Okay. Uh, the pool uh, was there uh, when, they, when they needed water to cool all the industrial area, all the engines, the big engines, the refinery. So this pool, uh, they, they take the water from the open, uh, the gulf, then they take it to the pool. Then they eject chlorine so they can kill all the living uh, living creatures inside the water then they take the pool to cl to cool all the industrial area that's why but how the turtles get trapped into this they swim well, and they came well into it? well this is a good question well, they like it to come to kuwait <laughs> <laughs> no uh, the intake the intake pipe which takes the water from from uh, from the sea mm -hmm. had to be screened there, there should be a screen, you know, uh, not to let uh, big animals go inside. Uh, I think uh, something happened to that uh, screen at, at uh, some time, so they got inside and they couldn't go outside because uh, there is an angle with the pipe. If they go this way and there is a strong current, they cannot go uh, back. So that's why they got trapped and uh, uh, they noticed them because they are not like fish. You know, fish inside, you don't see them because they go up and breathe and every time they go up and breathe, they, they looked at them, they, they knew that... Uh, we, uh, they were turtles. That's why they called them. And, and now, where, where are the turtles? Uh, turtles are safe and uh, home free. We, Back we to rushed the sea. Them. Yes, we rushed them immediately. We, for, uh, we first uh, uh, caught the first one. We, t we took it immediately. We rushed it uh, to the to so open water, and uh, you can you can you can you can tell that uh, they were very happy to be home. You know, they were you know they they just rushed to the water. So the, the turtles now, they owe their lives for you and the team. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Now we go for you, Mrs. Uh, Abdul Bari. And uh, you wrote a book yes, about the rescuing of those uh, turtles. But in the beginning, how did you know about those turtles? Well, I did know the members of the diving team. And the, we saw the um, story on television. And I called them to congratulate the work they did. And they said, well, we'd like to do a story on it. And uh, I said I would help. And the story got more exciting because it was on the internet and naturally it went all over the world. And they kept, kept getting calls, uh, how did you do it and uh, how long did it take and uh, they wanted to know everything. So I put it in book form and they gave me all the pictures. They have their own uh, photography unit at the diving club which is very nice.